Hey, 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 so, all right, it's the holiday season and I am in chime trying to figure out the best way to create a year-long drip campaign. Well, if you've ever attempted to create a drip campaign in chime to start with, you know, you gotta learn it. Um, but uh, you know, I've, my personal feeling is, is that they should have given us more dates to be able to put in. Like, you know, I like to celebrate Mother's Day. I like to celebrate the 4th of July. <laughs> Unfortunately, Chime's not set up to do it that way. So um, I'm going to get in today and show you how you can set up a year-long campaign and um, turn it on so it starts to run for the whole year, okay? Um, and it really doesn't matter what country you're in using this software. If you're in Canada, you know your, you know your dates, right? Um, you just got to know what holidays you need. So let's go in. I'm going to show you how not just to create a um, holiday campaign, but how to create one that has been going. Let's do it. All right. Um, I am actually in a user's account as we are helping some people build this drip campaign. So this is not my account, but I'm in her account. We've already added in all of our templates that we want for the entire year for the holiday. But while I'm mentioning that, we do build drip campaigns for everybody in any CRM. So I wanted to let you know if you wanted help to build any kind of drip campaigns for buyers, sellers, camp holidays, whatever. Uh, definitely tap into that. You can you can tap into that right at uh, realestatedripmail.com and we provide you either the templates you can build yourself with instructional videos or we can build them for you. So you decide what kind of help you need. All right, so I am in a Chime account right now and um, I wanted to just kind of give you a little overview of why this is kind of challenging to build it inside of Chime right now, <laughs> at least the way it's set up now in October of 23. So if I go up to the campaign area and then I want to go over to smart plans, let me slide this over just a little bit and make sure I don't get out of the screen here. It's like I just thumped myself out of the screen. Here I am. Where am I at? Um, so I'm going to go, I'm going to go over to smart plans. I just kind of want to give you an overview. We've already built, um, buyer guides, nurturing campaigns, seller. She picked out what she wanted. So we already built all these campaigns in there for her, but we wanted to add in the holiday campaign and, and when we get in here and start realizing you can't build it based on day of the year all year long, it makes it a little challenging. So we're going to hack around it. And that's what I'm going to do. So let's go to add new. And here's what you got. So they have these recurring campaigns down here. New Year, Christmas, Valentine's, birthday. And you could do stuff based on when the lead arrives or, or are there these other things, right? Um, but you can't. These are all this these dates are being pulled from the contact information. So there's no way to put like a custom date in here that I'm aware of. If there is, I've totally missed it. So if I if that's the case, that would be awesome. But uh I haven't been able to figure out where to put a custom date in for something particular. And you certainly don't want to go into each individual account and put a custom field in those each individual contacts because this isn't going to work for that if you're trying to send a campaign out to a whole bunch of people <laughs> okay so because that means you have to go into everybody's account and put custom dates in there and that's like for the birds no you aren't going to do that over here same thing transaction date this is all being pulled these dates from whatever you've put in to the contact area of that particular person right so again you can't really you can't really put a field in that's going to be the same you know for every single con, it's just going to be a pain in the ass. But anyway, that's, that's my two cents on it. So that said, we only have one, two, three, four holiday kind of things through the year. Well, when I'm building a holiday campaign that's going to be used, we basically want to turn this on for as many people at one time, ideally. Um, and then after everyone comes in, we want it to work for everyone as they're coming in. But I'm never going to put the birthday template into a year-long campaign because I don't know what that person's birthday is. It, it could pull it in and it will it will plan it, but in a long year campaign, this isn't going to work um, that I'm aware of. It, I mean, I suppose it might. Now, I don't see how it's going to work. So we're going to leave the birthday out. But what I'm actually going to do is kick the whole thing off by using the new year campaign. And then we're going to build everything else around that. And I'm not going to bother with these others because these are, I mean, I've got 17 holiday <laughs> that I want to hit throughout the year. And so it kind of doesn't make sense for me to 
go in there and mess with these two. I'm going to just kick the whole entire thing off by this. Now notice this says recurring. So what that means is you put one template into a campaign. Let's go ahead and click on this just to get it started so you can kind of see what's going on. Click on it and then go to start. And then here I'm just going to put year long holiday campaign, but um, if I if I only did this and I was only doing it for New Year's, notice what it's going to do. It's going to send yearly on a specific date, right? So my choice is either on a specific date or on a fixed date. Well, you never want to do a fixed date because that's always going to be with the year included. You know, and I don't want that. You don't want to see it set for 23. I'll never be able to use this again. So you don't want to use that. You want to use on a specific date and then that date is going to pull from somewhere in here. Well, we always know that New Year's is the first, right? So we're going to say, all right, we're going to kick this entire thing off on the first. And now the thing about the recurring, what it's going to do, you can tell it, I want it to run year after year after year if you want for as many up to 10 years, I think it will do. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay. So if I put one template in that sends out to um, somebody, right? When I turn it on, it's going to send the way I, if you set it up like this, it's going to send the same template year after year after year, because that's how this thing set is working. Okay. So that means if you have one template that you put in here, they're going to get the same one every single year. Well, the only thing I'd say about that is you could do that. If you just want to put one email in here and have it send the same thing year after year after year, you could do that, but every year, I think you can come in here and replace the template out. So after the first of the year goes, you can replace out the template. So I've already built these templates in here. I'm going to go and show you how to do this. Um, I'll show you how to do this, but personally, how I normally will start building a drip campaign, if you haven't seen some of my other videos, is I like to go put all the templates in first because that way I can save it as a template and I can use it over and over again. If you build it at this point, you can't save it as a template, at least not that I'm aware of. If I, I might be missing it, but I don't see where to do that. And personally, I think it's way easier to keep my brain going in one direction and building the campaign templates at one time and then coming and building the full campaign from that. That way I'm just on a roll, right? So, in this instance, if I went, let me just go ahead and do this right now. I'm going to type in New Year's because I know I have one in here, at least one, right? That's a New Year holiday template. By the way, this template uh, has been built to um, include, already include the fields. So you don't have to, it's going to personalize it. These are how we build them. Um, we also on a holiday cam campaign add a video. Now, in the case of what I do, I actually add video uh, via sending it to a landing page where I've already uploaded the video. Okay. So, but I'll get to that in a minute. What I wanted to explain here though, was that this template is going to be the same one. If I hit save right now, this template is going to be the same template that will send year after year, the way this is set up currently, right? So if you had five years worth of holiday campaign template or something along those lines, right? You could come in here and every year replace this template out or type in a new one. And as long as you don't mess around with the timing and, and all of that, I mean, I, there's no way you can really mess with the timing on this kind of campaign. But the way it's set up right now, it's just going to keep sending the same template. But I don't want to keep sending the same template every year. So my suggestion is, is that you plan to come in and replace these templates out year after year. So they're not getting the same thing. Even if you had three templates for all the holidays, and you just start rotating them, that would be better than probably sending the same thing. Because after a while, your people that really know you're going to go, wow, you've got the same template in here. It's kind of getting boring. You know what I mean? Um, now, you could also add a texting step onto this as well, right, if you wanted to. But right now, I just kind of wanted to give you the overview of why you can't do it simply in here because there is no other way to come in here. If I said, all right, I want to add a new step and say the next holiday is Martin Luther King Day, here's what's going to happen. I don't have an option to put in here Martin Luther King Day because there's no way to put a date or anything like that, right? All I'm getting is I either going to send it immediately, which I sure the heck ain't going to do that. I'm, I could wait a number of um, hours, right? I could wait a number of days. And so um, that's what we're going to have to do because there's no way right now for me to set up uh, a specific date. Now, here's the problem, at least in the United States, not sure about Canada and other places, but 
we have holidays that float around throughout the year. So, for instance, Martin Luther King Day is always the third, I think it's the third Monday of, um, so I actually have a template for Martin Luther King Day. Let's go ahead and put that in. I'll just go ahead and I'm okay. I think it's under here. Okay. So if I put this in here, this template is, is, I can't like put a date, right? But I do know that it's always the third Monday of every January. So what, that's the only thing I know. Well, that's a little bit challenging because I don't always know what the date is going to be. Now, so every year when you're going to turn this on, so this is kind of the plus part about this, is you do have to come in here and maintain this. So in 24, here's what we're going to do. We're going to go up here. We're going to go, what day is Martin Luther, what date is Mart MLK, right? Hopefully I've got, I've got something over the top of this. It's hard for me to see it. Hopefully, what date is MLK? Let me see if it'll give it to me. Martin Luther King Day. I have to put 23. What? I didn't put date. Okay. I couldn't see it because there was something over the top. Of it. What date is MLK in 2024, right? So I want to get what that date is. It's January 15th, right? Got it? All right. So let's go back to Chime. Hopefully I didn't go over the top of that because I have a terrible feeling I did. What did I do? Uh, let me go find it. <laughs> I lost it. Okay, so in 24, I know that it's um, January 15th, right? Well, I know that if this particular um, template is going to send on the 1st, then I need a, a pause or a delay is what I'm going to have to do, right? So I'm going to go down here and put a delay of for the timing. I'm going to go wait. I'm going to go wait. Now I'm going to wait how many days? Well, I'm going to actually catch it before it happens. So I'm going to actually say 13. I mean, it sure the hell isn't going to hurt for you to send it a couple days early. Okay, guys, it's not going to matter. Don't overthink it. All right. Now you choose what time you want to send it if you want to, because you can do that. Um, so, uh, hold on. Somebody was trying to call me here. Um, so you can choose what time personally, you know, I'm going to send it at a regular daytime hour and it's always based on where you're at. So just plan that if you send a lot to the people in the East and you live in the West, you just got to plan your timing out or whatever, or the other way around. Okay. So, uh, anywho, so there we go. That's what I would do. I would wait that many days. So you're going to put a delay and then put that in there. Now it's an email. Now, if I decided, let's just say I do, um, I do send two texts a year, and just so you know, I don't normally text every single holiday because it will get overwhelming if you've got 15, 17 holidays throughout the year that you want to focus on, and you have to decide what those holidays are for you. But uh, for me, I'm going to be doing um, New Year's. I could probably go through them all in my little templates over here. Um, if I type in holiday, maybe it'll pull them all up. Holiday, so you can see what I'm doing. I do. Oh, it's kind of hard to see. This is a whole nother issue over here, but uh, I can't see them all, but I can tell you they're New Year's. Martin Luther King, this is in the U.S., but you guys know if you're out of state or out of the country, uh, New Year's, Valentine, or see, Martin Luther King, Valentine's, St. Patrick's Day, um, Mother's Day and Father's Day. If you want to hit those, I would put them in here, but those could be blasted out to the people that you know are Mother's Day. So I probably wouldn't add those to a regular campaign. Uh, uh, 4th of July. Um, oh, I miss Memorial Day. Memorial Day, 4th of July, Labor Day. Uh, we just are passing um, Indigenous Day. So I added that partly because I am Indigenous. <laughs> um, so let's see what else. I had Halloween, which is coming up. Uh, I think we had Veterans Day, right? And uh, then we had Thanksgiving and Christmas and Hanukkah, if you want to add Hanukkah. So I think all told, if you used every single one of those, there was something like 17 templates, a plus a birthday template, right? So you want to have at least one or two or five birthday templates. Personally, I would have five different years worth. Um, I do provide those uh, if you want us to build them for you. We do have currently one out there, but I do have five different campaigns that we are going to be putting into our package. So if you want that, but it's five years worth of content and it includes video and stuff, right? So I'll get to show you how to make these templates in a minute, but I wanted to show you how to make these. Now, twice a year, I would send a text. So I would do one always during December. So if you're, I usually try to catch them early in the, in the season. And I would, uh, as far as that goes, so that if there, I have any people that celebrate Hanukkah on my database, that they're going to get it. So depending on, you know, when it's going to be hot every year, Hanukkah kind of moves around too. So you've got to try to plan for that. 
but I'm not even sure when Hanukkah is this year, but um, I'm going to go and have, add on a step. It's not going to be an email this time. We're going to do an um, uh, auto text, and then you're going to pick your template out. Now, you have to say auto text, so you have your template already made. So if I was going to do another, I don't have one for New Year's because I know I'm doing a, uh, like a holiday one or a, a Christmas or something. I don't even know what I called it. But there, there's, oh, you know, I'm not sure the text got in here yet, so I'll have to work on that. But you create a text and add it at this point. Got it? So you can put it in here wherever you want if you want to do it. Okay. Now, all right, now what we're going to do is just keep going throughout the rest of the year. So now I'm going down to the bottom. After MLK Day, we have... Uh, the, um, let's see, so that was the 15th of um, January. The next holiday I know I have is Valentine's. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to a calculator website. And um, this calculator, <laughs> he's got something covering it again, so I can't see what it is. What's the name of it? Um, it's called timeanddate.com, I think. Timeanddate.com. So if you're going to figure out, you're going to go, all right, from Martin Luther King Day is the 15th, right? I'm going to go now to February 14th. Now, I want this to try to land on that day if I can. But again, if you catch it early, it does not matter. It doesn't matter. Make sure it's right. Okay. I was going to say, it should have only been like 29 or 30 days. There we go. 30 days. All right. So conceivably, I'm going to still try to catch it just a little bit early because I don't think it hurts at all if it picks it up early. So now I'm going to go back over to my, um, uh, I've got way too much going on on my screen here. So I'm going to go back over here now and I'm going to go, the delay is going to be, right? I'm going to wait how many days? I'm going to wait 30 days, right? And I'm going to send the template for Valentine's Day, right? Now I'm just going to keep doing this throughout the year. Now, next year, what are you going to do? Well, you're going to come in here and figure out what's changed. And so if the date for, you know, Martin Luther King Day ends up being on the 13th, you might want to adjust it. You just have to remember that you need to get in here before it sends and change the date. So if you're going to turn it on every year, now here's what I'll say. It's set up to auto replay. So, right, because it's one of those recurring campaigns. So yearly, it's just going to turn on for 10 years. So you don't even even need to think about it other than get in here and edit the dates if you need to. And so realistically, what's going to happen is because MLK Day does move around, if you wanted to get it a little bit more precise in 2025, you have to come in here and think about adjusting the entire year, right? Because we always know, well, it, it shouldn't be that hard to do. It's only the dates that migrate around, right? So we also know Memorial. We know Valentine's is always on the 14th, but what's that time between the 13th, if if you know, or the 14th, if next year? And I haven't looked, but let's say next year, not 24 but 25, the holiday MLK lands on the 13th, and I need to change up the numbers between MLK Day and Valentine's. So you're probably sitting here thinking, Patty, why are you bothering with this? Why don't I just go in and um, and blast out the emails every holiday that rolls around? Okay, sure. <laughs> go for it. Personally, I'm the automation queen, so the more I can do this, if I only have to set it up one time at the beginning of the year, I'm not sure I care. Now, the only thing I'm not 100% sure about is if you keep using this same campaign, and I'm just honestly not sure, if it's already set up to send at a certain date, once it turns on, it, it's some, some CRMs, like I've been in many, will automatically line up all of the dates the minute you turn it on. And so it won't change from year to year. And I can't tell you honestly what the answer to that is because I haven't done it. But here's what I would say. If you're concerned about it, then just do a one year campaign, just tell it one year right here, and then next year clone this entire campaign, right? Just make a complete copy of this campaign or just come back into it. You don't even need to do that if you don't want to. But frankly, I think, it, you know, because the dates always land, uh, leap year throws, throws a wrench into stuff, but every four years things kind of roll back around, right? So it seems like Except leap year throws a wrench into things. So you've got to think that over. I don't even know if leap year is in 24, frankly. It must be coming up. So, um, 
Do you get where I'm going with this? If you set this up ahead of time, you're not going to have to mess with this later. And I personally don't want to mess with it. What I really love is, oh, thanks so much, Patty. Happy 4th of July to you too. And I forgot that I had set it up to go out and people are thrilled to hear from me. And I didn't, I'm busy. I'm partying too, like the rest of you guys. So what the heck? I mean, why, why worry about it? Just get it set up. So personally, what I would do is just make sure after Christmas, right? Because we're going to send something out during the holiday. I will tell you on major holidays like Christmas and Easter, I'm not bothering people. So I will always send those early. I usually will send like Christmas on the 20th. Uh, ahead of time. Again, we're in the holiday season. If your templates say, you know, happy holiday season, happy holidays, there, you know, nobody is going to complain that they're getting something early. And frankly, I don't think anyone's going to play, complain that much if they get it late, but I'd rather you see you, you know, hit it early than late if you can help it. So that means there's a little bit of work, but it's so worth it because once you set this up, all you need to do is come in here and adjust it every one time a year. And you won't have to think about it for the rest of the year. Got it? All right. Now, let me go over to what I would normally do on how to, how to create the template. You're going to go up to your settings and then you're going to go over, go over to your email templates, right? We're going to start with our email and then you could add your text templates in, but we're going to go to our email. Now I've already added all these templates in, but I'm going to start kind of from scratch to show you what I want to do. Email template. And so let's just say this is, um, holiday. Uh, let's see. Let, uh, we, let's start with New Year's again. Okay, we're going to start with our New Year's number two. So this is the second year. If I'm going to do, I already have a full year in here. So I'm going to put in the fields that I need to put in for it. Um, let's just plug this in right now because I know that's the right fields. And then I'm going to put in um, Happy New Year, right? Happy New Year to you, right? And then honestly, I'm just going to go into the templates that I've pre-built already. I've already done this, so I'm going to go into my holiday. I have a five-year campaign here, so uh, I'm just going to come in and copy it, right? And I've already got it done. Now, here's what I'm going to tell you about what I do for video. I actually send them to a landing page, and they don't go to YouTube for holiday stuff. You certainly can, though, and I'm going to show you how to do it both ways. But I have a link that I send people to for this. And so what that means is I have an image. It's a thumbnail that shows them the, the beginning of the video, right? With a, what appears to be a video, but when they click on it, it hyperlinks to my landing page. Why do I do that? Uh, well, when I build them for everybody else, I, it makes my life easier to help you because I'm not going to go into your YouTube channel and upload videos. We just, we aren't going to do that, but we are going to send you to a pre-built message landing page where it's going to go. Um, all right. Now, when you're typing up, so I've, I've, I've copied, whoops, that's not what I wanted, but I was going to show you. I've copied, um, the, let me go back. I've copied the, um, we'll copy the, the actual template for New Year's out of here, right? And, uh, I'm going to just copy that. And, um, then I'm going to go back to here and I'm going to paste it in. And, um, in this case, this is, this is the salutation, right? Now, when I give you stuff, I give you the name so you can add it. And then I'll also give you the timing of when you should send it. And then I also give you the subject line. So you get all of that when you get into my templates. Um, in this case, you'll get all that. So you won't have to worry about setting that stuff up if you want us to help you. Uh, or you want to buy these, you can do that. Um, so now I'm just going to paste this in and... Um, Actually, this is, I've got to make sure you're going to have it set up so that it's exactly for your field. But if you want, let me take this out because that's a different field. But I can go here and go leads name up here at the variable. I'm just going to leads first name, right? So you can add it here. Now, if you want all of the, you know, um, the uh, sizing to be the same, just make sure that you've got everything set up in here. I personally like, I'm, I'm really leaning toward the 16 to 18 sizes these days because people, it's just bigger, you know, and another thing I noticed when I just plopped that in there is the color kind of got kind of funky, but you, oh, well, you guys just figure that out. Okay. Um, now I've got it in here. Oh, I got it here again. So I got to make sure and put in the field here. I'm a big fan of putting their name in twice um, and without it sounding too canned. Right. So uh, let's make sure we got all the sizing right. Again, 
this will be all set up for you because I've already got them built for all of the different CRMs. So I, I this is just something I'm just showing you how to add yourself. Remember, let's see, uh, blah, 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 blah. okay, cool. Now, here is a YouTube link that I'm going to just cut this out right now. And I'm going to show you two ways to do this. The first way would be simply to upload your videos to YouTube. And if you don't want the whole world to see it, just make it unlisted. Now I'm going to go here and insert the YouTube video. And when I insert that, now this one happens to be a Thanksgiving one. I should have remembered that, but it's okay. You get the idea. Whoops. Okay. Let's go back. Um, so it, it builds its own thumbnail when you do this, right? So that's a cool, I can go to preview and hopefully when I play it, what it's going to do though is take you to YouTube to watch the video. All right. So that's good and bad. I mean, it's good if you don't care that they're over there. But so this is the reason why I built it on a landing page because I don't particularly want them going to YouTube for this kind of thing. Now, if I was promoting, um, I've done a whole thing on how to create video, you email uh, content, but um, you could probably go, go on YouTube and find it. But I think the for me, for a holiday, I don't really want them going to YouTube. So I like, that's one of the reasons I build it into a landing page. And I think you could probably build it right in Chime and just upload the video to a landing page that's for a holiday. So you go in there and create all your videos and you can do them. If you're going to do your own, go for it. Uh, just go into Canva, build them in there. And then you'll need to upload them somewhere. So you got to put them on either YouTube. I don't know if they'll take a Vimeo. Actually, let me see. Not 100% sure. Let me see. Uh, so I know what this looks like. Let me go back. Um, I personally love Vimeo. I use Vimeo for a lot of things, especially when I'm teaching. So here it's YouTube only. All right. So that's a choice. Otherwise, you're going to create a landing page. And I'm not going to get into how to do all of that. But you're going to create a landing page and then you're going to put the screenshot of the video um, here, which I showed you earlier, right? So um, I'm going to actually cancel out this and show you one that's already done so that we can show you how we did this. Um, right here, there is the video. And if I click on this, there is a YouTube, right? And so or, or there is a landing page, right? So this is one that I've created that is used for everybody. It's just called Special Message for You. And um, if I go and I click on this, so now if I hit preview on this and I click on this, so you can see this is a thumbnail. This is an image of the video with a button on it. And if I click on that, it's it's it should hyperlink to that landing page. Oh, well, it should. It's not doing it in the not doing it in the preview mode for some reason. When you click, it's set definitely set because I see it. Unless I lost it. Hold on. Uh, 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 let me go back here. It's certain. Okay, I must have deleted it when I was screwing around. <laughs> okay, let me go back to preview. There we go. So I'm basically taking them to a landing page that's created with the video in it. So they're not going all over the place, right? So here's the thing. The video is not going to play. And I don't know of very many CRMs that will allow you to play the video inside of your, um, of your CRM email, right? The email within that. So that's why we're doing it like this. And so it's just basically a special message from you. And then that video can play from this location. And we have music and stuff that plays in the background, which you can't hear, but it's playing. And it's basically, you know, create whatever you want. If you want to do your own, you can put your own branding on it. Um, again, we, it, we provide this. It just has kind of more generic branding. Um, but we certainly, if you wanted to pay us, we could make it more personalized for you. If you want us to do that, it's cool. So anyway, that's how you do it. Now I'm just going to hit save on that. Now I've got it, right? So it's, it's fine. It's perfectly fine. And now we're just building everything else. So you had two choices where you're either just going to upload to YouTube and drag the YouTube thing in. If you don't care, they go to YouTube. What I would do is try to encourage them to subscribe to your channel if they are going to end up there. Uh, should you keep it listed, public, unlisted, that's up to you. Um, again, you'll need to know if it's going to work inside of here if it's left unlisted. And I honestly couldn't tell you. These are all public videos that I did. But yeah, so that's that. Hopefully that explains it. So you're just going to go through the whole year with your campaign now that you've done it. You're just going to make sure that all of the holidays are loaded up in your campaign and uh, then you're good to go, right? So that's it. Boom. Done. So I think this isn't um, rocket science. It just means take a minute or two, 
to um, set it up every year and you should be all set and ready to rock and roll without major issues. And, you know, I think it's cool.